If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRAYS to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo guys, what's up, it's X-Rays. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install your M.2 SSD into your PlayStation 5. The update is officially live today for regular consoles. You don't have to be in the beta to be able to do this. But before we jump into that, I wanna make sure to let you guys know, make sure that you properly turn off your PlayStation 5. What I mean by that, and I'll show you guys real quick, is go over to the power options, and you wanna make sure that you hit turn off PlayStation 5. Do not go into rest mode, don't restart it obviously. Make sure it's off because you can mess up your PlayStation 5 by just disconnecting it uh, if it's in rest mode or by trying to install an SSD when it's powered, when it's connected or it's not fully like completely turned off. So just make sure you turn it off. All right, so the other thing I do wanna mention and, and we're just gonna kinda do little tips here and there. If you wanna make sure you're actually updated to the correct version of the PlayStation 5 that supports SSD, if you wanna do a quick way to check, literally go over to sound, go over to audio output and if you have this 3D TV speaker option, then you have the latest version of the PlayStation 5 and you can install your micro, your M.2 SSD. Now, if you do not have this, make sure you update your PlayStation 5 because if you try to uh, install the SSD without the latest version of the firmware, then it won't even let you turn on your PlayStation 5. So make sure you turn off your PlayStation 5 when you're done updating your firmware and make sure you're on the latest firmware because then it won't work. So with that said, we'll jump into the tutorial on how to install the SSD, uh, how to prepare the SSD in case you guys are uh, have one that has a heat sink or a heat shield. Uh, and if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, find it informative, helpful, drop a like guys, super appreciate it. If you're new, make sure to subscribe with notifications on so we don't miss a single upload. I normally don't do videos like these, uh, so your support would be very, very much appreciated. And then check out my sponsors if you guys want to support the channel directly. Control Freak, Code OG Extras gets you a discount. I use them all the time, look at them, I got them right here. Uh, Code OG Extras gets you a discount or Aim Controller. If you guys want some controllers with paddles on them or kind of customized, check them out, link in the description below. I'm gonna be getting mine tomorrow. I'm, I'm so freaking pumped to get mine. It's gonna have paddles. It's gonna be have like a custom paint job. Code OG Extras also gets you a discount to those guys. Link down below or through my Amazon Influencer page. Anyways, enough self-promotion. Let's jump into the tutorial on how to install the SSD. All right, boys, so this is the SSD that I got, the Viper for uh, VP4300, and this comes with a heat shield and two of them, actually. So we're gonna go ahead and install that. So let's open it up and show you guys what comes inside. All right, guys, so this is what comes inside. We get a quick start guide, and we also get the SSD. Now, the cool thing about this is that you actually get the heat shield, you get the actual SSD as you guys can see here. So this is the SSD, all right? This is the this is the big boy, this is the one terabyte. Uh, but we're also gonna be installing, uh, so we have a kind of a heat shield, this guy, and then you actually put this guy on top of that guy. So it's kind of a two layer effect. But you need to have a heat shield, guys, okay? If you are just throw an SSD in there, I don't know what's gonna happen, it might overheat, something might happen to your actual PS5. You don't wanna ruin your PS5, so make sure you have a heat shield. All right, so check uh, compatibility list. I'll try to put a, a link in the description below so you guys can purchase this guy if you guys want this one, or you can get your own one, but just make sure it has a heat shield, or at least that it's compatible. Like this one doesn't have a heat shield. It has a heat, uh, has a heat shield, not a heat sink. Um, so just make sure you have a heat shield or a heat sink, one of the two, because you're gonna screw yourself up and you're gonna lose money. So let's go ahead and install the heat shield uh, onto the SSD. All right, boys, so we're gonna go ahead and install this guy. You know what, I'm just gonna use the, the quick start guide. I really don't wanna just set it on the table. So you have the first one, and you're just gonna go ahead and peel this guy back to expose the little sticky part. And you wanna make sure that you don't cover the, the screw for the M.2 or the actual uh, data connector. So just get somewhere right in the middle and just Put it right up top. Don't put too much pressure. <laughs> you don't want to break your SSD. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm installing just the regular Rapine Grief Shield. Boom, so that's the first one. The next one is going to be the big boy. All right, so this one, <laughs> again, same thing. You want to 
kind of line it up to where this is on top of the SSD. It's not covering the connectors or the M.2 screw on the back. So just make sure you line it up before you do anything else. So there we go. Take off the sticky film, line it up. I'm gonna put it right on top of that guy. And again, you don't wanna put too much pressure on this guy. <laughs> Cause you don't want to break your uh, your your SSD so I feel like that's lined up um, be careful really line it up well when you're doing it because this is a one stick situation all right if you try to readjust it later on it's not gonna work and I think I've got enough clearance here and in the back so I think we are good and set and ready to go so this is what it looks like with you know kind of everything on there and we are ready to install this guy into our PS5 with that said, what I need to do is actually, I need to remove the bottom uh, little base here because I won't be able to remove the side panel without it, so. All right, so to remove the base, all you gotta do is uh, remove the screw up top. And boom, the base is removed from there. So you're just gonna, uh, just gonna toss the screw in here for now. Keep it safe, it's gonna stay in there so I don't lose it. Now that we have done that, we can actually set the PlayStation 5 with the PS5 logo. So that make sure the PlayStation 5 logo is face down. Boom, face down. You're gonna be removing the side with the disc panel, so you wanna make sure the logo is facing down. You wanna grab the corner, you wanna lift, and you wanna pull, pull towards you. You don't wanna just like lift this up if you're gonna break it. Just gonna hold it there, and pull down, and boom. Super easy to do. Again, all you have to do, you lift and pull towards you. All right, so there is the side of my PlayStation 5. You're gonna want a flathead screwdriver, or fill up actually, not flathead. You're gonna remove this screw here. I don't know why I have this extremely long extension, but I do. Make sure you don't lose this screw here. This is, this is the screw that opens up the, the panel to your SSD. So I removed it. There we go from the side, beautiful. And this one is just literally like getting it under the plastic and sliding it down. That's how you that's how you remove and put that one on. So set that aside. You can see here is the SSD area now. So we're gonna try to actually zoom in here so you can see. So that that's what it is. Now you want to remove the screw up here because that's what's gonna hold down your SSD. All right, got a smaller one, let's get in there. You're gonna to wanna to remove this screw because again, this is the screw you're gonna be using to hold down your SSD. You're gonna want the screw and you're gonna want the base. All right, if you don't have this, it's not gonna hold it down. So we're just gonna check our size here. All right, make sure the fins line up. It's in. And it looks like we're gonna be using this one here. So I'm gonna to try to get a little zoom in there so you guys can see. But basically, it's literally just clicking in, like if you're putting in some RAM. So you just kind of line it up and you just slide it in. So I'm gonna be putting the base, as I saw, it's gonna be right here on this 81. We're gonna grab this guy, the stud. I'm gonna put it right over there. Make sure it lines up. Grab your SSD, line it up. You'll hear the click. You can push that down now. And you're going to grab your screw that you have removed already work it until you eventually get it to sit there we go nice and tight that's good right there i got my heat sink on it's connected you guys can see we have the basin with the stud whatever you want to call it we have the screw we have it attached it's good to go so now we're just going to reattach this guy and again you want to just insert that little fin into the plastic there Grab your screw, line it back up. You don't want to over screw it. So if it stops turning, leave it alone, all right? You're not doing a ton of work with this guy. Grab your cover. Just kind of want to slide it back. There it is. Boom. Super easy. So now the SSD is in my PlayStation 5, and we're just going to reattach the base to the bottom, and we're going to connect it, and let's see what's up.
All right, guys, so we have installed our M.2 SSD. As you guys can see, it says to use your M.2 SSD, you need to format it. When you format your M.2 SSD, all data will be deleted. So we're just going to go ahead and format it. Just give it a second here. All right, you guys can see it says the respeed of your M.2 SSD is as follows. If you experience problems while playing a game installed to M.2 SSD storage, try installing it in the console storage. So it has a read speed of 6,101 0.799 megabytes per second it's been formatted uh you can change the settings go to settings storage so we can actually change where we want to uh, install our games so i'm just going to go ahead and have it installed now to our micro i should say to our m.2 ssd so it also says that in order to remove it safely you need to have the playstation 5 off so make sure you completely turn off your playstation 5 before you install it and before you remove it. All right, guys, so now that we have formatted the SSD, we can actually go over to our settings and we're going to go over to storage. You guys can see that we now have um, pretty much our console storage, our M.2 SSD storage. Uh, we have our USB. This is usually where I keep my PlayStation 4 games. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go actually over here and I'm going to transfer this Modern Warfare version um, later on i won't do it right now but i'm gonna move it actually to my ssd my m.2 but for now this one we're gonna go ahead and go over to install location playstation 5 games you you can choose if you want it to be on console playstation 4 games and apps you can choose if you want it to be on your m.2 ssd etc ps5 games and apps i'm gonna put over to my m.2 ssd so i'm gonna clear my console my ps4 games i'm gonna continue to keep actually on my usb storage uh, just because unless it's a game that runs better on PlayStation 5, which half the time it does. But if it's like a game that it really doesn't matter, like Call of Duty, I'll toss in there. But I'm having issues with Warzone, which is why I'm actually going to move that over. Uh, but with that said, let's go ahead and go over to our this guy here. We're going to move this guy over, select items to move. I'm going to select that guy. Oh, there we go. Movable to M.2 SSD. Sorry, this this new menu, this new menu. So I have 885 gigs open on my M.2 and we're just going to go ahead and move it. So I'm going to go ahead and let that finish, but that is how you install your SSD, how you format it. And if you want to change where your games from now on will install, it'll all just install over to your M.2 if you prefer it that way. Or maybe you just want to use your console storage right off the bat. You can. But now, for instance, I have another terabyte of ssd storage which is awesome because i'm always having to delete freaking games especially call of duty they're so freaking huge but anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video hopefully you guys found the video informative helpful and entertaining if you did drop a like guys it's super appreciated if you're new make sure to subscribe with notifications on it so you don't miss a single upload and if you guys want to support the channel directly you can do so by checking out my sponsor control freak uh, aim controller i use both of them all the time i'm getting my aim controller tomorrow i'm so freaking pumped paddles on the back or control freak if you guys want the extended sticks there code ogx rays gets you a discount for both of those guys link in the description below to that or through my amazon influencer page if you guys would much rather do it that way if you guys want to talk about this have questions drop comments down below or uh hit me up on twitter at ogx rays in case you guys want to talk interact see what i'm up to or just want to say hey but anyways you guys have an amazing day i'll see you guys next time take care i'm out peace